How to make the bottle bag from the Wrapped in Style kit. This is a collection of seven different bags and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the bottle bag. To start with, you need to cut out all of the pieces from the panel that are for the bottle. You'll need the front outer, the side outer, the back outer, the base outer and two handles. Now you need to cut out the lining fabric using your own fabric. Place the front outer, the back outer, the two side outers and the base outer onto your lining fabric and cut round them so they are exactly the same size and shape. You don't need to cut the handle from the lining. Once that's done, place the front outer, the back outer, the two side outers and the base outer on top of wadding and stitch them into place all the way around the edge. You can also add some quilting detail here if you want. I quilted round the bottle for this one. Once that's finished, trim round the outer edge of the wadding so that it is level with the raw fabric edges. Making the bag outer and the lining. Take the bottle bag front outer and one of the bottle bag side outers and place them right sides facing. Pin them together down one side so that the raw edges are matching. Pin them together at the top and then the bottom and then put, pop a pin in the centre. Now take a tape measure and mark quarter of an inch up from the bottom edge using a pen. Now sew together all the way down stopping at that mark that's quarter of an inch above the bottom. This is to help the base fit better. Now take the bottle bag back and pin that together with the other side of the bottle bag side. Again mark quarter of an inch up from the bottom edge and sew them together in the same way. Take the other bottle bag side outer and sew that together again stopping quarter of an inch from the bottom end marking before you stitch and sew together all the way down the sides. Once you've sewn all four pieces together you've got the main body of your bag. Now take the bottle ba bag base outer and place it right sides together with the bottom edge of the joined outer matching raw edges. Make sure you match one side edge of the bottle bag base outer with the bottom edge of the front outer. This way it will be the right way up because the piece is not the same size all the way round. The front and the back is a bit bigger than the side pieces. Just pin together along one side to start with. Now you're going to start sewing at the seam and then stop sewing with the needle down in the fabric just at the other seam. This is why you've left the quarter of an inch unstitched. So starting exactly on the seam, sew it together all the way along this bottom edge until you reach the other seam folding the seam allowances open and flat as you do. Leave the needle down, raise the presser foot and turn it around. So take the other side of the base outer and rearrange it so the side, the bottom edge of the side outer is right sides facing. It will fit exactly because the pieces are the right size. Pin it into place at the end of that seam and then just pop a pin in the centre. Now lower the presser foot again and sew it together all the way down that seam. You're using a quarter of an inch seam allowance as usual. Sew together until you reach the seam, lower the presser foot into the seam, the low, lower the needle into the seam, raise the presser foot and continue stitching in the same way until you've worked all four sides. Your base will now fit perfectly. Now take the lining and repeat that and to sew it on exactly the same way. But what you need to do when you sew the side, one of the side pieces to the front, leave a four inch gap unstitched, about two inches up from the bottom. That will be your turning gap. 
attaching the handles. Take one bottle bag handle and fold it in half lengthways with right sides facing. Then press it all the way along, making sure the raw edges are matching. This will make a centre crease. Now pin it together all the way along. Again with the raw edges matching. Now stitch it together down the long edge. Work a stitch across the side to help with turning. Now turn it right sides out. The easiest way to do this is using a tu turning tube. Push the tube inside the handle. Take the stick using the blunt end of the stick and push the end of the handle all the way up through the tube. until it comes out at the other end. And now your handle is turned right sides out. Take the stick out. And using a seam ripper, just undo those stitches you made at the short end. They were just to help with the turning. Now press the handle, making sure that the seam is lying right on the edge and top stitch down both edges. Make the other handle in exactly the same way. Now turn your bottle bag outer, right sides out, and lay the front section flat. Measure a quarter of an inch inwards from those side seams with a pin. Now take one of the handles and place it, the outer edge of it, next to the pin you've marked. And with a quarter inch of it sticking out beyond the top of the bag, this extra makes the handle more secure when you're carrying it later. Pin it into place at the top. And then making sure the handle lays straight and isn't twisted, pin the other, the outer edge of the other hand of the handle at the other pin and pin it into place across the top. Place another pin a little bit further down just to make sure the handle's laying flat. Otherwise, sometimes when you sew it in place, it can twist and turn a bit, but this just secures it. Now stitch it into tack it into place across the top. Assembling the bag. Once you've stitched both handles on, on the front and the back, place the outer inside the lining so that they are right sides facing. Push the, the outer right inside. Now matching all the seams, making sure you match the front, the edges of the front lining seams to the edge of the side, the outer light seams. Because remember the sides are slightly narrower than the fronts and the backs. So make sure you match up the right seams and pin the outer to the lining all the way around the top edge, matching the seams first so that you get a perfect fit. If you, It does help if you've pressed the seams open before you do this, just to help it all lie a bit flatter. And then pin it together at the final seam. Again, opening those seams so that they lay flat and open. Now sew it together all the way around that top edge. Once this is done, put your hand inside the turning gap and turn the whole of the bottle bag right sides out. Take a seam ripper and undo those extra tacking stitches you put in earlier to hold the handles in place. Undo all of them, then turn the edges of the turning gap under by quarter of an inch and pin into place. Now stitch that turning gap closed. 
Once that's done, push the lining inside the eye outer push it right inside so all those bottom seams match up and the lining is lying nice and flat inside. Now turn the top edge over so that the seam is lying right on the very edge. It helps if you press it at this stage so that it, the seam is on the edge and the lining can't be seen from the outside. Press it the front, around the front and the back and then press it on the two side edges as well. Once this is done, top stitch all the way round the top to neaten. Pull out all those bottom corners, pop a bottle inside, tie a gift hand to it and your bottle bag is finished.